For many people, the Schomburg Center represents the heartbeat of black history and culture in New York City. Arturo Schomburg helped to preserve artifacts that would have been lost to generations. His grandson sat down with CBS 2's Jessica Moore to show us a side of the legendary collector that many have never seen. Old film shows Arturo Schomburg inside his namesake center at the New York Public Library, surrounded by the stacks of books and relics he amassed over the course of his lifetime. He was the resident expert and curator of his life's work, made available to the public in 1925. How significant do you think Arturo's contri contributions were to the archives of black history as a whole? There kind of aren't any words to really express how significant his contributions were because he's doing this at a time at the turn of the 20th century into the early part of the 20th century when black people's humanity is still being questioned. And he did it, you know, not part of a university, um, not because someone asked him to. He did it because he really had fervor and, and passion. Schomburg grew up in Puerto Rico and moved to the U.S. at 17 always on the hunt for African-American artifacts. He compiled a personal collection of 10,000 items related to black history and the African diaspora and became the unofficial librarian for the Harlem Renaissance. If a friend of his was doing work in D.C., he would say, you need to go to this bookstore and look on this show because there are these great things there. Can you, can you secure that for me? He's really amassing the bedrock of what would become black studies. Schomburg died about a decade after the center opened, but his legacy lives on. I was born January of 1939. Arturo died in June of 1938. So I like to think that he knew I was coming. Though he never met his grandfather, Dean Schomburg says Arturo's fingerprints are all over his life. People talk about a role model, although he, I never knew him and he never taught, he was a role model for me because I, that's how I fashioned my life. The younger Schomburg majored in African and African-American studies at Fordham, spent years as a radio news anchor, and contributes to the center, always drawing on lessons from the family patriarch. Black history has to be taught, uh, and people, people of color have to be made to be proud of who they are and what they've been through and how they've come through it all. He, by himself, was self-taught and had a kind of a religiosity about what he did. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so he wasn't, he wasn't lettered, he didn't have a degree, and I felt he felt uh, that maybe I am not worthy, but I'm going to keep on keeping on because that's who I am. Dean Schomburg says his grandfather was committed to his work above everything else, but wasn't selfish with his collection, which filled every corner of his house, even the bathrooms. People would come to the house and there would, even if they have to go to go use the restroom for a minute, there were books all over the place. You'd have to step over books to go take a pee, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so she would say, you know, people would come and, buy, and, and borrow your books and never return them. And why, why, why do you let that happen? And he says, listen, they're only stealing knowledge, which is what I want them to have. What do you think your grandfather would think if he walked in here today? Well, he would be amazed. He would say, well, I, uh, I, I, you know, I didn't think that you guys were going to be able to do all this, you know. Uh, but like I said before, he would say that, uh, you know, the work is not finished. Do you think your grandfather would be proud of you and everything you've done to contribute? Oh, I think so. I hope so. That's what I'm living for. A commitment to carry on his family legacy so that everyone knows black history is American history. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. The Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture is open Tuesday through Saturday and often features special pop-up events. We'll have more stories throughout the month highlighting the contributions and sacrifices of African Americans who helped shape our country. You can find them here on CBS2 and streaming on CBS News New York. And also be sure to check out our special Black History Month section on our website, cbsnewyork.com. What a great story. We owe Mr. Schomburg a debt of gratitude. I love that Big line where he, yeah, thanks, right? Right? I love that line where he said they're only stealing knowledge. That's right. Regarding the books. <laughs> Bathroom great. books. That was great. Fantastic.